Will delivery drivers be needed anymore? Do we have anything to worry about? As some of you guys may have heard, DoorDash is testing out drone delivery from Wendy's in a certain area. And I'll go over all the details and how this all works. Um, so, you know, my thoughts on it is, you know, this isn't a surprise. Uber Eats has tested out drones. Amazon, I believe Walgreens has, um, you know, different companies are using drones for various things. Um, do I see it threatening our jobs anytime soon? No, I do not. Um, you know, the only thing that I can see is, is it's going to benefit non-tippers. More than likely, if you, you know, have a drone deliver your food, you're not going to have to tip. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like from the customer's side, what the screen looks like if you were to place an order. But that's the thing that I can see right now is it's going to definitely benefit non-tippers. Let me know what you guys think about this whole thing, but let me read you um, a little bit about the drone testing with DoorDash. It says a DoorDash announced on Thursday that it's launching a drone delivery pilot program in the U.S. It'll be starting with a very small test group, just one Wendy's location in the small town of Christiansburg, Virginia. Virginia. The food will be delivered by drones from Wing, a subsidiary of Alphabet that first partnered with DoorDash in 2022 to deliver food via aircraft to customers in Australia. Starting Thursday, customers with eligible address in Christianburg, a town of about 23,000 people, will see a drone delivery option. So this is the screen that you will see if you are in Christianburg. Virginia. So again, it's just for Wendy's. Um, it'll show that you have the drone option. It says free delivery next to it. Below that, that's standard, which is 17 to 26 minutes. And then you have your option to schedule ahead. So that's what it'll look like. You have the option for drone delivery. Let me know if you were a customer, would you have a drone deliver your order? Or would you have a driver like one of us deliver your order? Um, let me know. It's definitely, you know, cool, uh, a cool idea. Um, um, I would want to see how it works, you know, and then of course, you know, depending on how far you are from the restaurant, is the food going to be warm? Like, how are they going to keep it heated? But I'll get in that in a moment. Um, DoorDash says the food should be delivered to their doorstep within 30 minutes. In the fastest case, a package was delivered in just seven minutes and 12 seconds during the testing phase. So, not bad seven minutes and 12 seconds of course that depends you know where the restaurant is and where the delivery drop off is you know of course if you live further from the restaurant um it's going to take a little bit more time but i'm sure that they have you know a perimeter of how far the drone will go um so that's very interesting uh leopold said that the packaging doesn't need to be insulated because the deliveries are so fast now that's interesting because i'm thinking to myself what if it's snowing what if it's like a super cold icy day you would think that the food would get cold. <laughs> Let me know your guys' thoughts on this, but this is very interesting. Uh, he says, once an item is ready to go, a drone takes off, picks up the package using a tether, and then climbs to a cruise height of about 150 feet above ground. He adds that the drone can reach speeds up to 65 miles per hour not bad at all. I can see how it can get <laughs> delivered fast. You don't got no traffic, that type of thing. Um, he says when it reaches its destination, the drone slows down, descends to a height of 23 feet and gently lowers the package to the ground from a tether. There's no need for a person to unclip or assist with delivery. The drone then climbs back to cruise height and returns to the wing facility. And that was my other thought. We have some of these apartment complexes to access the customer customer's actual apartment. You have to go inside the building, usually through a door and then, you know, climb stairs and, and their entrances are within the building. So that's interesting. Will they be able to get drone deliveries or will it be set up to where there's like a drop-off spot outside of the building? 
I don't know. That's that's a question right there. Leopold also said that the drone's ability to transition between airplane and helicopter modes combined with its winch system allows the drone to lower the package without spilling items like eggs or coffee. And that's another concern I'm like, you know, what if you have drinks? You know, customers like to have their drinks. So this is very interesting. They, they're saying it won't be spilled, um, which is a good thing. But, you know, I would like to see this in person. <laughs> very, very interesting. But at this time, I don't think that we have anything to be worried about. Um, you know, they're testing it in a very, very small market. We'll see if and when it expands into other markets other cities. I feel like it would definitely work out possibly like in a bigger city. Um, but you know, we'll see how things go. They're, they're always testing things and uh, definitely would like to hear your guys' thoughts. But again, I feel like, you know, people that don't want to tip will go with the drone option because more than likely you're not going to have an option to tip for the drone because it's a drone. Uh, anyways, we're going to get these apps turned on. We're going to go deliver some customers food right within the car. Husband is driving tonight. Uh, love it when he drives. So let's see if we can get lined up for the first offer and get these wheels to move in. All right, guys, I have been declining, 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 and some more declining. I'm like, a good offer has to come in at any moment. Here's what, here's some offers the drone can take. Uh, $8.03 for 12.2 miles, and it is two pickups. The drone can definitely take that one. Here is another one. This is just some of them. I'm gonna save you on them. DoorDash sent me an offer, $6.50, 5.4 miles, and it was two pickups as well. Here's another one from DoorDash, $5.25 for 9.3 miles. Another one the drone can take. So I held out as I usually do, and Uber Eats came through with a reasonable one, $12.44. There is a dollar boost included for 6.2 miles. We are heading to Old Chicago Pizza. Order should, should be ready. Um, they're usually pretty good. We're heading there now. Let's go get this order and get these wheels to move it finally. Hi, uh, just picking up for Megan M. Uber Eats. <laughs> Cool, thank you. Megan M. All right, guys, got lucky on this one. Order was ready. The parking lot is packed. People are dining in tonight. I was lucky my order was ready. Um, there was people waiting to be sat, and you know, one of the employees that's bringing orders from the back asked me who I was there for. Order was ready, off we go. Uh, customer 12 minutes, 5.2 miles. They are in a house, left a note to leave it at their door, and the drop-off type also says, uh, leave it at door, so we're on our way. guys successful drop off super easy to find uh the offers are coming in but they are oh, they're just horrible <laughs> they're horrible uh here is just a few to give you an example $13.64 sounds nice but not for 16.7 miles that is just a backwards offer and then another one $2.19 for 3.8 miles absolutely not just a bad offer so where we had dropped the order off at kind of took me out of my zone um so i with the doordash so i had to you know switch to that zone and then we're traveling back to where we're at and so i'm trying to switch back to the zone over here and DoorDash wanted me to verify my ID as well as do a facial scan. So uh, thankfully my husband's driving, so I was able to do that going down the road, but it was just like random, like switching between zones. Um, that is all done. So we're gonna see what else we can line up. 
like I said, they're coming in, but they are just really bad offers. Um, you know, sometimes it's like this, but uh, we're gonna see if we can get something else lined up. Uh, hopefully this isn't a sign for how the night's gonna be. That last restaurant that we just picked up from was packed. People are dining out, but they're ordering, but they're they're not tipping. So um, yeah, I need to, you know, if I'm gonna deliver, I need to make some money, not be delivering for free. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna hold out, see what else we can line up. All right, guys, soon as I got done saying what I was saying, got me a reasonable offer. We are heading to Chick-fil-A, and there has been an accident up here. We've been trying to avoid it when we were out earlier, um, and the GPS is actually rerouting us. I'm not sure what's going on. They must be cleaning up something. I'll show you guys. It must have been like an accident from earlier. It must have been pretty bad because uh, it's been blocked off for quite a while now. Um, but it looks like whatever was going on is all cleaned up now. Maybe they're just doing an investigation. Hopefully nobody got hurt. But obviously some sort of an accident. We are going to continue on to Chick-fil-A. We're almost there and uh, go get this order. the order so I go in and there's nothing on the shelf but I looked over and I seen them working on an order and I looked at the order to see you know if there's any drinks and I seen them working on an order with three drinks right there so I thought it would be mine and sure enough it was which is awesome and I forgot to tell you guys what the offer was for seven dollars 24 cents 2.4 miles and I'm looking at the customer notes and this is what it says it says first driveway on the left Please go all the way down the driveway. We are in the last duplex on the left. We have an alien statue by our door. Love it when they give a landmark, as long as the landmark's there when you get there. Um, so we are on our way and uh, hopefully the alien's there and I can spot them out and get the order dropped off. We're heading there now. And there's the alien. <laughs> All right, guys, thank goodness for the customer's instructions uh, because, you know, trying to locate which duplex they were in was a little bit difficult because there is no addresses. Like when you drive up, you have to literally walk up to the front door, which the front door is on the side. It's not where you can see when you pull up. And of course the alien statue was there, which helps out as well. Um, so that's all dropped off. All is well. Um, ended up getting an offer, a reasonable offer from DoorDash, $8 for 3.7 miles. We are heading to Little Caesars, AKA Little Sleezers. And um, you know, the last few times I've picked up from there, the order has been ready. Of course, hoping that that's the case. <laughs> I know some of you guys don't like picking up from there because the orders aren't ready. And uh, you would think it would be with Little Caesars, you know, it's not like they're making the pizza from scratch, but it is what it is. We're heading there now. Yeah, I have a code and I entered it, but it won't open. 
Cool, thank you. All right, guys, Little Caesars is packed. The parking lot's packed. One, there's a lot of people going into Little Caesars. And, you know, there's other, like, food carts and a bar and other things around there. It is just packed. So I ended up hopping out so my husband could go find parking. And I should have brought my bag in because there was three items plus two two liters of soda that they wanted. Um, so I ended up having to bring the pizzas out, put them in the hot bag, and then go back in for the two liters. Not a big deal, but should have brought my bag in. Usually I try to remember to bring my bag in there um, just because a lot of times people do get the two liters. Anyways, customers drop off is eight minutes. They did leave some notes. There is a code that's needed to get into the building. It is an apartment and um, the customer is on the third floor. I'm not sure which apartment building this is. I'm sure we're gonna find out when we get there. Um, now, if you're not familiar on how to tell if it's on the second or third floor, typically, typically, let's say it's apartment 100 that would be on the first floor if it's apartment 220 or apartment 200 that would be on the second floor and if it's apartment 300 or 350 it would be on the third floor that's how you tell so more than likely we're heading to the third floor and uh i got the gate or the code not the gate code the code to get into the building which is appreciated because i don't have to call the customer anyways we're on our way let's go get this order dropped off all right guys we are at the building. There is the call box. So, enter the code. Hopefully that works. All right. I didn't hear no like a uh, sound from it. Me. Dang it. Let's see here. Uh. I think I forgot to hit pound. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, we are in. <laughs> These doors can be tricky if you don't get it exact. And we have an elevator, yay. Okay, we're on a roll. Okay. And two of the third floor. And off we go. guys orders dropped off of course I was having a little bit of issue at the call box which was my fault I kept forgetting to put the pound and then the number once I did it correctly I got in got to the third floor orders dropped off um, a customer I seen him like peek around the corner as I was walking away said thanks um, so all is well tonight has been a lot of declining a lot of bad offers coming in you just gotta hold out and wait for the good ones to come in and DoorDash is bringing me in another one let's see what it is $10.51 for 8.6 miles. It's going to take me out into another city. Um, that is a no-go for me. And on top of that, it is a wing stop and the restaurants have been busy tonight. That is a very risky one. And again, the miles are a little bit higher. They're going to take me way out of my zone and likelihood of me getting another offer is slim and it might take me out even further so i'm not even gonna go there anyways i'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys right here always so much appreciate you guys riding along with me and of course if you did enjoy the ride along do give the video a like consider subscribing if you haven't already and i'll be seeing you guys on the next one bye guys